This is the fourth of a series of video tutorials that will help you to make a software scoring application. You can see we have the code from before and all the video links to the other tutorials are beneath this video. In the last video I showed you how to add a score. Now I'm going to show you how to include a timer so that it keeps track of the amount of time it takes to score all the goals. To do that, we're going to go under Sensing, and you can see that we have a timer on the bottom there. So I'm going to click on Timer so that it appears at the top. Now when we click on the green flag, we want the timer to reset. So you can just grab the Reset um, Timer block and put it at the top. So we want to repeat that until the time gets to a certain value, uh, just so that the person isn't going to get infinite amount of time. We're going to make it set to 45 seconds, but you can choose how you would do that. So in order to do that, I'm going to get rid of the forever block here and replace it with a different type of repeat. So I don't want to lose all that code. So I'm just going to move the if down, the, the outer if downwards, click on the forever block and delete it by clicking it to the left hand side there. Go to control and grab the repeat and tell and snap that into place just beneath the reset timer block. We can now bring all of that code from before and put it inside. We're going to repeat it until the timer is greater than a certain value. So we're going to need one of those comparison operators again. So under operator, we'll grab the greater than sign. And as I said, I, I'm going to make it 45 seconds and you can change it to different amounts, but 45 seconds allows me to get a few goals in anyway. Um, and I'd also like to um, compare it to the time. So I'm going to go back to sensing and scroll down and grab the timer. So when my timer is greater than 45 seconds, the game is finished. And you'll have to click the green flag to start again. So let's try that and click the green flag. And actually, I'm going to change that to just uh, 10 seconds right now, just to demonstrate that for you. Uh, so I'm going to move my ball over. Going to do it under 10. There you go, goal. And it will restart from the beginning. But then once it gets out of more than 10 seconds, it won't move anymore. So then I would have to click on the green flag. And I only scored one goal in 10 seconds. So we can change that back to 45. But it would be good practice to use a variable instead of the number 45. So I'm going to create a new variable for that. I'm going to call it variables, or click on variables and then make a variable. And I'm going to call it uh, game time and then click on OK. I'm going to make it so the game time does not display. So I'm going to uncheck that box so that we only see the score and the timer. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the set game time block from variables and stick it at the top there. And I'm going to set my game time to 45. So then instead of putting that number 45 in there, I can go to variables and grab my game time variable, snap it into place. And the next time I want to change the value of the game time, I can just change it at the very top there. Um, I can change it to 30 or whatever I'd like it to be. So I'm going to keep it at 45 right now. In the next video, I'll show you how you can indicate to the user how many goals they scored in total at the end.